Do you feel like you're missing out? Wanting to hop on the Rick and Morty hype train but just don't have time? Fear not. I am here to prime you for the show that has its fans begging for the number three so much, you'd swear it was made by Valve. The series follows the titular characters of Rick and Morty and the adventures they get sucked into. Rick is an old, cynical, dimension-jumping genius of a scientist who at the beginning of the show is trying to reconnect with his family he's been away from for many years. Morty is his not-too-bright bulb of a grandson who always ends up getting dragged along. Things never go quite as planned, and so we have our basic plot. Rounding out the family, we have Beth and Jerry, the perpetually dysfunctional parents who always feel like they're one pen stroke away from a divorce. And then there's Summer, Morty's sister who just wants to be popular and survive high school. The format of each episode then ends up going something like this. There's an A story, normally involving Rick and Morty off on their sci-fi fantasy adventure, and then a B story, normally involving the rest of the family in a much more mundane situation both using a good amount of satire. It results in a series that is able to explore the strangest of topics and settings while having the juxtaposition of an average suburban family just trying to deal with it all, making for one of the most clever and inventive shows on TV today. That paired with the almost improvisational nature of some of the dialogue makes the world and characters feel so much more believable. You don't care about me at all! I'm no different than that jacket you've got on! Or, or your stupid portal gun! I'm just a tool! I, I'm just an object! What do you what do you think of this flying vehicle, Morty? I had to I had to do I had to I had to, I had to I had to make a bomb, Morty. On its surface, Rick and Morty has its inherent sci-fi comedy appeal, but they aren't afraid to get dark at times or even make you uncomfortable. It's a show that constantly feels like it's pushing the envelope, and is why so many fans have their hopes set high for season three. But yeah. Without jumping into spoilers, that's pretty much Rick and Morty. It's a show that has my seal of approval, and now you're ready to jump in wherever you'd like. That said, I do have a list here of five Rick and Morty episodes, you'd start with one and end with five, that I think can best introduce a person to the show. And while there are no bad episodes per se, I think this list provides a good diversity of the type of content you can expect to see in this series. And that'll just about do it. For those of you watching who have seen the show, What's your favorite episode? And for those of you who haven't, do let me know if this video has been of any help to you. Thanks as always for watching. If you enjoy what I do, be sure to like and subscribe. For my subscribers, do you like this type of video? What fandom or show do you want me to prime people for next? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, this has been OnGeek, and I will talk to you guys later.